the hijacking of Flight 305 by D.B. Cooper. On the afternoon of November the 24th, 1971, a man identifying himself as Dan Cooper purchased a one-way ticket from Portland to Seattle, Washington. He boarded Northwest Airlines Flight 305, a Boeing 727. Cooper took a seat in the rear of the plane. Once in flight, he lit a cigarette and ordered a drink from the flight attendant. After receiving and paying for his drink, Cooper passed a note to the flight attendant which stated that he had a bomb. The note went on to say that he wanted $200,000 in $20 bills and four parachutes, two primary and two reserve. Wearing sunglasses, the mystery man remained calm and friendly to the flight attendants. Once on the ground in Seattle, the FBI provided the ransom money after thoroughly documenting and photographing each of the bills. The parachutes were provided to the hijacker and the plane was refueled. Upon receiving his ransom demands, Cooper released all of the passengers and flight attendants. All who remained on the plane were the pilot, co-pilot, the flight engineer and one flight attendant. He then instructed the pilots to fly towards Mexico City at 200 miles per hour at an altitude of 10,000 feet. The hijacked airliner took off from Seattle at 7.40 p.m. with the flight crew under instructions to stay in the cockpit. Shortly after takeoff, flight attendant Mucklow observed the hijacker tying something to his body. At 8 p.m. the rear staircase indicator light came on in the cockpit, as the rear staircase of the craft was being lowered manually from inside the aircraft. At 8.13 p.m. with the parachutes and 21 pounds of ransom money in his hand, Dan Cooper jumped from the plane. In the days following the hijacking, the FBI began to investigate the crime. A search of the plane yielded very few clues, but it was discovered that before jumping from the aircraft, Cooper had removed his tie. Many witnesses were questioned, and on a hunch detectives questioned a man named D.B. Cooper, but nothing ever came of this. With help from the US Air Force, the FBI recreated the jump conditions of the jump, and placed his landing in the area around Lake Merman, Washington. The FBI, with the help from state and local law enforcement, the US Air Force and the National Guard began to comb the woods in the area of the supposed landing site of Dan Cooper. The searches, eyewitness questioning, suspect list, and a trace of the numbered bills used to pay the ransom failed to yield any leads at all. To this day, the hijacking of Flight 305 by Dan Cooper remains an open case. In 1978, deer hunters near Castle Rock, Washington, discovered the information place card from the rear staircase of Flight 305. Castle Rock is located north of Lake Merwin. In 1980, $5,800 of the ransom money was found buried on a sandy shore of the Columbian River near Vancouver, Washington, over 20 miles from Lake Merwin. The money was deteriorated and waterlogged, but was still bundled in the original packing. Over $194,000 from the ransom has never been recovered. In 2008, a piece of parachute found near Amboy, Washington, six miles from Lake Merwin, is believed to be one of the parachutes that Dan Cooper used in his escape from the hijacked airplane. These items, the money, place card, and parachute, are the only evidence that has ever been located in connection with the crime. The FBI officially suspended active investigation of the case in July 2016, but continues to solicit submission of any physical evidence that might emerge related to the parachutes or ransom money. So that was the hijacking of Flight 305 by DB Cooper. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.